Welcome back everyone to my Animal Crossing New Horizons series part 40. This episode is going to be a bit different from the other ones cuz we are going to go ahead and try to get all the items for Bunny Day. Definitely this is super exciting because I have never completed um getting all of the items for Bunny Day before. So it's going to be both challenging as well as fun. All right, let's hear what Isabel has to say for today as well. All right, she is excited since it is Bunny Day. Um as far as the items go, I have found quite a few of them uh from the last few episodes and I have found some recipes offline as well. But even with that, there are a lot of items to get for this one. Um I think there are a couple of items you'll only get through your villages as well as a couple of items you'll only get once you have completed all the recipes. So definitely I do have a challenge of finding all of them. Well, now that I have just cleared out my pocket and have everything ready, I think it's time for me to just check out the mailbox before we move on. Definitely did order quite a few items in the last episode and I see that they are here. Most of these items I will definitely be using on my island, but there are a couple of them that I'm still waiting for. So hopefully I'll be able to get it. As far as the farming goes, um I think we are almost ready. As usual, let me quickly go ahead and check out resident services building before we talk to the bunny. I guess that's what I'll call him from now on. Um but we do have to craft all of the DIY recipes that we have got, which is something I haven't really done yet. I have been collecting a lot of different eggs but I think I still need a couple of them so I might actually time travel a bit offline and get those ones as well. For now let's quickly check out Nook Stop. As usual all of the other items are going to be the same other than the fences which is what I'm actually buying right here. This one is actually the bamboo fence and I think I might be able to use it. Anyway, I don't see any special goods here um in nook shopping, so I guess that's all. I mean, we do have the yacht, but uh I might have already bought it once, so I'm not really sure. Maybe I can buy this one. It's always uh good to have two of these items. Um I'm definitely planning to actually go ahead and keep it right next to the ocean, which might make it look good. Anyway, that's all on nook shop for today. Let me quickly go ahead and check out the Nook Miles. Um it seems like we have completed a couple of tasks. So here we go. All right, there we have one of the tasks completed for Bell Ringer. Anyway, um I decided to go ahead and check out if I can actually craft some of the items uh for the DIY recipes that I picked up on Bunny Day. So let me quickly check it. Here are all of the items that I currently own. Um as you can see there are at least around 10 items ignoring the clothing item. But after all it is bunny day and I definitely want to wear a clothing item. So let me quickly go ahead and craft three of these and then wear it. I believe that we can actually get clothing item for all the different eggs that are available. Uh but in my case I got one for the earth egg so that's what I went ahead and crafted right here. We quickly go ahead and wear the outfit as well. I think once we do that we will be fitting very well with our villagers who are already wearing the clothing item. Anyway, that's all I had in the resident services building. Now I might have to come back here since I don't have a DIY bench anywhere near and this is the perfect spot. Um I have yet to actually craft the other DIY recipes that I already have. I just decided to go ahead and um get all of the recipes before I actually craft them. So that's what I'm going to try and do right here. Talking to Zipper, he is going to explain that we do have to look for eggs and try to get all of the recipes that he has hit around the island. Ooh, all right. Um I guess he's talking about the types of uh, eggs that we can get. In my case, the earth egg as well as the tree egg was pretty easy to find. Um I think I struggled a bit with the water egg and the sky egg. 
those two are um, pretty rare so it's a bit difficult to actually collect anyway we did get a new DIY recipe right here which is the bunny day arc so that's one more added to the collection I think there are quite a few I have to still find um, I actually don't have a list of it so I'll go ahead and check it out see uh, what else I have to actually find before we can actually um, complete this day itself Ooh, all right we can actually exchange our eggs as well so in case if I did have any trouble finding a couple of eggs I could definitely try training them um, all right I guess we have to select the egg that we are trading I do have to apologize this is the first time I'm actually trying out Bandy uh, previously I never did this event I used to actually skip it out so I'm actually struggling a bit here but I do know quite a few things so let's see if we can actually figure everything out and get all the DIY recipes that we need right, there we go um, as you can see I have only one stone egg one wood egg um, the reason for wood egg being one is because I don't have any trees on my current island I've cut them all down so maybe I do have to um, time travel, plant a few trees and see if I can find them. While I was looking around the island, I actually found a balloon present just flying around. So let me quickly open this one up. Usually, since it is bunny day, I think we'll mostly have either a DIY recipe or a egg. In this case, it's a DIY recipe which is pretty lucky. We got the bunny day lamp. Um, I did check the internet so there is definitely around 25 recipes that we have to actually get um, before we go ahead and talk to Zipper to get a one final DIY. So let me quickly go ahead and try to see if I can collect all of them. The next thing I did was run around the beach to go ahead and get both the message bottles for the day. One of them was a new recipe for frosted pretzels which is pretty cool um, definitely something I would try out but the second one was uh, much better since we did get another DIY recipe so that is good hopefully pretty soon one of my villagers will give me the other remaining DIY recipes which I can only get from them but here are the two of them that I did pick up recently I think DIY recipe is not the only way to get all of these items. Um, I remember that uh, we can actually go ahead and exchange each of the six type of eggs with zipper to go ahead and get one of the DIY recipe from him. Um, I guess we can actually try that out since I do have one of each of these eggs. As usual he does explain us uh, on how we can actually get all of these different eggs. But I think some of them are a bit difficult to actually obtain. But here we have an option. Let's quickly go ahead and see which item we might actually get. So we do go ahead and give him one of each egg type. There we go. That's all. And we get in return a bunny day basket. So that's good. That's an item that I don't have. So... It's good to know that I have one more item. Anyway, let me try getting most of the other items uh, that are required to complete Bunny Day and I'll see you guys soon. Now, I did forget about the shop for today, so let me quickly visit it. Now, unlike the last few days, we do have a couple of items that I can actually buy. Especially this clothing line, which is something I might be able to use in the future. So, I'll quickly go ahead and buy it. As for the bunny day item that's right there, um, I already have it so it's actually a repeat for a second time. So I think I'll be skipping it for now. Now I did go ahead and check back on the internet and you can only get one item by exchanging all six of the eggs. Um, that is the bunny day basket. Uh, if you go ahead and exchange more, he will give you just bunny day basket which is something I did do incorrectly but here I am back I have all the recipes for bunny day and this actually took me a lot of time 
it was literally just me time traveling continuously uh, in a loop to kind of go through this bunny day so I can actually get all of these items. But here we are. Uh, let me quickly go ahead and craft all of them before we talk to uh, Zipper and get one final recipe from him. Now I did decide to go ahead and speed up this part of the video uh, just because I'm just crafting all of the items here and there's nothing really too um, I guess interesting but the fact is that it definitely did take quite a long to get all of these recipes. Most of them I did get again from the balloon but I was also able to get one recipe every single day from the bottle message which was a really good thing. Um, I think in case if you are trying to get all of the items from Bunny Day, I would definitely recommend going ahead and um, getting the message bottles. Uh, you might get a duplicate one or two days, but if you do try, you will be able to get all of these recipes. Anyway, I am definitely pretty fast at crafting all of them. I also got lucky and was able to actually collect all of the different six eggs which I actually really needed. In this case I think we have a couple more left, I think six more items to craft. Since we have crafted all of these items, at some point I'll go ahead and dedicate a room in my house for all of these bunny day items. I mean after all we do have a wallpaper and flooring for this so this might actually look good. I'm also trying to find if I can get all of the clothing items for the bunny day. Um, till now I only got two of them unfortunately. So I uh, still have to find the others. But at least we were able to get all of the DIY recipe which I think is good. Oh well, uh, I think one more item left for us to craft. As far as I've seen, I don't think we have to actually place down these items. As long as there is a tick mark in this app uh, to kind of tell that we have already crafted it, um, that is actually enough. Now that we have all the items ready, I think it's time for me to go ahead and talk to Zipper. I think this was definitely a fun challenge. Um, even though it did take me quite a few time, at least I was able to get everything ready. But apparently not. I did actually miss one of the recipes. So let me quickly check out my list and see which one it is. So yes, I did miss one of the DIY recipe and I was finally able to find it. There we go. Now that we have crafted it, we have all of the items from Bunny Day. Let me quickly go back and talk to Zipper. Hopefully there is no other item. I guess we have to craft one more which is kind of a last challenge from him but let's quickly talk to him. By the way I forgot to mention this but all of the villagers look super cute in bunny day costume. I mean just look at Midge right there. She and I we both are having the same dress and it looks so cool. I really wish I got a time to actually go ahead and take a picture with them. Um, but right now I guess we have to just complete the task that we got from Zipper. So here we have the last year of our recipe which is Wobbling Zipper Toy. Right. Um, let me go ahead and actually learn this one. Here we go. I'll quickly go ahead and craft it. Um, we do have to go ahead and craft it in the resident services building but here it is. So I don't actually have the leaf egg as well as earth egg. Thankfully I haven't really collected the eggs for today so let me quickly collect them and craft this item. I think I really need to keep my DIY workbench outside. This is something I had before I started terraforming my island uh, at which point I actually kept it in my storage. So I definitely do have to bring it out again. But here is the zipper toy. Let me quickly go ahead and craft it. There we go. That is the last one. Um, let me quickly go ahead and once again talk to Zipper. Hopefully this is the final task and he doesn't spring any more on us. Here he is as usual. Let's talk to him. Um, Definitely this is pretty cool. 
He is quite happy that we did actually craft all of the items. And I guess I still have a couple of eggs left over, which I'm not actually gonna sell. Um, we, I think we'll be able to use it next year, so I'm just gonna keep it in the storage. Right here, he did give me 10 more stone egg, which is surprising. Um, right. uh, I expected a wand, but I haven't really gotten one. So let's talk to him again and see if he gives us the Yup, here it is, the super spectacular prize. And it's actually the Bunny Day Wand. It's one of my favorite items because it goes very well with the dress I have right now. And I'm actually going to go ahead and hold it in my hand for the rest of this episode as well. So let's quickly go ahead and complete talking to the zipper right here. There we go. And here is the wand. As you can see, it looks super cute. Now this is the frustrating part, you can see that Bella is actually giving me 5 sky eggs. This would have helped me a lot a few hours ago when I was trying to find them. But either way, now that we have everything completed, my villagers are just being super nice and giving me all of the free sky eggs or any other eggs that is actually no use to me. But anyway, here is my super cool outfit for today. I think I'll wear this one for quite a few days since I really like it. But of course, we have one more thing left to do. And this is actually the last thing to do before I can start planting out the trees. Um, it's actually having a last incline on my island. So let me quickly go ahead and talk to Tom Nook right here to get the incline. Uh, we do need the marker kit. Here it is. And I do have to once again select log stars. Unfortunately, I don't have enough bells in my pocket, but I'll actually worry about paying it later. But now we're gonna go ahead and place it in its new spot. Let's quickly go ahead and see where we can actually place this one. I think I have a really good spot for this. Um, but I'm not really sure if the space is actually enough. So let's see if it does fit. This one, I wanted to place it behind the shop. Now we do have Freya's house right here on a small cliff. But for now, we actually don't have any way to climb it. Uh, the only way I could actually do is use my ladder. Which I think I'm kind of getting tired of since I do visit Freya a lot. I think this is a really good chance for me to go ahead and add a lock stays right here and see how it actually looks. Before adding the lock stairs, as usual, we do have to have a platform or a cliff that is um, kind of not crisscrossed. So right here, that is not the case. So I did have to reform a bit. But now that I have removed that part of the cliff, let me try using the incline marker over here. And I think this is perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and say okay. Alright, so that's the last log stairs we can actually have on my island. And I am done with terraforming on this one as well. This actually reminds me there is a bit more left. Uh, I know that I have been dragging this for quite a few episodes. But there is one more last thing left and that's actually a bridge which i almost actually forgot but we'll be going ahead and completing it in the next episode after all the main goal for this episode for me mainly was to complete bunny day which we have definitely done so thank you all for watching this episode hope you guys enjoyed this one as much as i did if you did please like and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to support me more on patreon check out the links in my description and I'll see you guys in the next one.